So if I have a set of data like this, and I know that it comes from a polynomial function, I can find the degree of the polynomial by looking at the differences, the so-called first and second and third differences. And whenever I get to a point where the difference is constant, that's going to be the degree uh, that the polynomial that created it was. You will note on my chart here that x is going up by 1. So we want to see how much y goes up each time x goes up by 1. First it goes from negative 18 to negative 4, which is a difference of 14. It goes up by 14. If that's uh, not obvious, uh, what it is exactly is the difference between negative 4 and negative 18. In other words, negative 4 minus negative 18, like this. Um, that would make it uh, negative 4 plus 18, which is why it's 14. So I want to go ahead and find all those differences in the same matter. For example, the difference between 2 and 12 is 10. I do that for all of them. And I still have a lot of variety here, so now I'm going to need to take the second difference, where I find the differences between my first differences. So at first I go down 10, so basically I, from going from 14 to 4, that's down 10, so that's why it's a minus 10. Or put differently, 4 minus 14 is equal to negative 10. And then I do that for each of them. Those are my second differences. Now I'm going to go ahead and find my third differences. These are still not all uh, the same, so I need to find third differences. So all the third differences are the same, therefore it must be from a third degree polynomial. Now, it'll be a bit more work to find that exact polynomial, but I will share with you the polynomial I used to do it. The data I generated comes from this simple polynomial function. Uh, for one example, when I substituted 2 for x, so put 2 in this function for x, I end up with 2 cubed plus 2 squared, 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4, add them together and I get 12 just as I see on the table. So in other words I generated the data for this table using this polynomial function and we were able to show by finding first, second, and third differences that it is in fact a third degree polynomial which this exponent reveals it to be. I uh, hope that made sense. Thank you very much.